Hello, I'm Ryan Lilly, and I work this summer at the Air Lab at Carnegie Mellon on an informative path planning system implementation and gimbal planner. The goal of this system is to implement the gimbal um, so that it will improve the total area seen by a drone with a predetermined path. That predetermined path comes from the informative path planning, um, which uh, utilizes or which maximizes the information gain um, for a given path of a drone or UAV. Um, with respect to the budget, which is often battery life or fuel. Um, the related work is the um, previously developed informative path planner, uh, which we'll, uh, we'll be using on this system. Uh, and then uh, the objective is to implement the camera onto the vertical takeoff and landing drone seen in the bottom there and develop a planner to move the gimbal uh, independently to maximize the area seen. Um, so for the system implementation, um, we had to attach the gimbal to the drone, the VTOL. And so we um, made the attachment device seen on the right so that um, wind vibrations um, wouldn't affect wind and vibrations wouldn't damage the drone or cause the gimbal to rip off. Um, so that was more of a structural uh, safety measure. And then my uh, work included trying to uh, determine how best to put the gimbal on the VTOL and then working on if the gimbal, the camera, and the computer that we're going to have running the planner will all work together. So I spent a lot of time doing um, component verification and um, trying to work on hardware issues uh, when components didn't talk to each other correctly. For the gimbal uh, itself, uh, our objective was to use it to cover more area than the fixed orientation approach as the path planner um, assumes that the camera is in a fixed orientation with respect to the drone and so it takes much longer and winding uh, paths so that the camera itself will see everything and so by implementing this gimbal we can um, use it to see much more than what the uh, path planner assumes that it's going to be able to see because we can look off to the side we can look behind the drone if um, We go around a mountain or something that the drone itself can't see very well and then um, That's part of the reason the gimbal planning is done after the path has been determined is so that um, More than likely we will get almost complete area coverage of um, with a given path um, and improve the amount of areas seen and the information collected um, because we'll be able to look at things more than once. We'll be able to look at things, as I said, off to the side. And then I worked on using a faster scan line algorithm to determine uh, which areas of the map were actually seen by the sensor. So the sensor uh, footprint in the bottom right is um, our, the model that we use and we have to iterate over it a, many, many times in both the path planning and the gimbal planner to be so that we can know um, which, like, which areas of the map are actually being seen by the sensor and which are just um, like near where the sensor is looking. And so using the scanline algorithm is much more computationally efficient than using a bounding box, which is what we had been doing, which uh, requires unnecessary uh, checks and calculations on the, on the map, which is inefficient. Um, for my results, I don't have any working results yet. Um, so on the uh, VTOL, um, as you can see in the left there, it's still a work in progress. And so 
uh, we were not able to uh, actually implement the full system since the gimbal needs to be under it and we don't want to be working on it while the gimbal is being crushed. Um, and then determining uh, how much faster the scanline algorithm is than the bounding prox approach that we have uh, still needs to be done to verify that it's faster. Um, and then uh, finally, and this kind of goes into future work, is the finalizing the uh, gimbal planning itself, um, and, uh, which in addition to having a decoupled gimbal planner, I think it'd be very interesting to also uh, have them work together so that the new paths within the informative path planning can be uh, longer and or straighter since they'll um, take into account the fact that the gimbal can see much more than the current path planning model assumes the sensor will see. Uh, and then configure it to be able to uh, handle different sensors, different parameters, um, and possibly different gimbals. Uh, I'd like to thank the Air Lab and uh, both of my mentors there for helping me get through all this and helping everything get done. And then I'd like to uh, say thank you to uh, Rachel Burson and Dr. Jo Dr. John Dolan for coordinating this program. Thank you very much.